Good morning. We are at the busy Fairfax kitchen shop this morning and Roberto, our barista, is going to show us how to make the flat white. We're going to use the Pavoni Pacino and a Pavoni grinder. And what we're after is a flat white, which is somewhere in between a cappuccino and a latte, which means we want to get a ristretto and we want to get micro bubbles. The velvety, smooth, delicious drink. So I've preset my machine, the Pacino, so that the steaming function is ready. I've got my Milk jug ready here. And there are a couple of things you want to look for when you're foaming the milk. You don't want to make it too frothy. You're after something called micro bubbles. So the, the things I look for is that, that whirling effect at the top. You're just skimming the top of the nozzle off the milk and pulling the jug down slowly. And you're keeping your hand, I keep my hand on the other side just to kind of get a feel for what temperature's like. Just keep pulling as you see those bubbles start to form. It takes a little bit of time. I like to foam my milk first just to let that settle, get any of the excess bubbles out, and then I make my espresso afterwards. Just keep pulling that real cool effect. Temperature seems right. Warming up nicely. We're just about there. You can see that nice thick foam forming. A little bit more. I think we're pretty much there. All right, so I'm going to close up that valve on the side. Turn that off. I'm going to flush any of the excess steam out of the machine. There we go. That's ready to make some coffee. We're using vintage beans today. You can use any kind of bean. We'll find vintage beans make a really nice espresso. So the, the vintage beans that uh, you're using, Roberto, are 80% Arabica, 20% Robusta. They're among the selection of beans, including Fairtrade, that are sold at Fairfax. Yeah. This happens to be your favorite. Yes. Uh, your, your favorite espresso blend. The other thing I didn't mention is you want to give the, the coffee a nice tamp so you get a good crema coming out. And you can already start to see the oils forming on the top. Uh, again, you don't want to run the espresso too long. But we're running it at about 12 bars. Um, the uh, domestic espresso machines run um, up to 15 bars, but 12 bars would be sufficient to get a really nice espresso. And just look at that and the so crema it's on really it. nice and It's good. beautiful. Just as good as you would get in any of the uh, coffee bars that uh, really know what they're doing. Yeah. I like to give the milk a bit of a swirl. You'll see they do that a lot at these coffee bars. It's really just to break out any of the excess bubbles. And there we go. Absolutely fantastic. So you can do at home what the professionals do in a coffee bar with any of the domestic machines that we sell in Fairfax, I believe. Absolutely, absolutely. So how do we find them? Well, we go to www.fairfaxcoffee.com for a full range of domestic espresso machines and you can contact us and you can get any advice you like on making espressos, cappuccinos and flat white just contact us at the address on our website, www.fairfaxcoffee.com. Thank you, Roberto. No problem.